Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm just going to pull on some general energy. We're going to see what message your spirit has for you. This is timeless, so whenever you click on the reading, that's when the messages can resonate the most. This is for someone rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure to check your other placements. I've already done fire, water, and now earth signs. So you could definitely go look at um, your other placements. I just have air left and those will be out tomorrow, Lord's will. So let's see what energy spirit has for you. Give me some energy for Virgo. What's the message? Messages for Virgo. What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? What is the energy? What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? What is the energy? Messages for Virgo. What would you like for Virgo to know, Spirit? Okay. Transformation. Bottom of the deck, we have Surrender. Okay. Um, Capricorn and Pisces both got this uh, Surrender card. I know um, Pisces is your North Node. Let's tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for transformation. So I feel like somebody's doing an act of surrendering in order to change. Change their circumstances. Change themselves. Give me an energy for transformation. Why is transformation here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is transformation here for Virgo? What is the energy? Something has to do with the lease agreement. I have judgment. Okay. Tell me more about transformation. Why is transformation here for Virgo? What is the energy? Why is transformation here for Virgo? What is the message? The Hierophant. Something deals with the union, holy matrimony. Something um, also deals with the contract. Give me an energy for judgment. Whether it is um, a, a romantic contract. You know, someone actually getting married. Legal. Work related. The Fool, Five of Cups, Aquarius Energy, somebody regrets the judgment call they made, the leap of faith that they took in the past because it could have changed your circumstances or changed your circumstances. Tell me more about The Fool. For some of you, somebody regrets committing to someone or, or moving in with someone, some type of living arrangement to a source because somebody couldn't see what was up ahead, what was coming next. Give me another energy for The Fool. Why is the fool here for Virgo? What's the message? I'm hearing eviction. Somebody could be facing an eviction. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, whatever somebody couldn't see at the time, didn't realize, they see it now. The mask is off. The illusion is over. And the truth has been revealed. And that's why somebody's in regret. Give me an energy for the Five of Cups. Or you are. Why is the Five of Cups here for Virgo? Yeah, I'm hearing mask off the nine of pentacles. So for some of you, somebody couldn't see the truth about you. Just very abundant, very stable. Somebody could have also been very gullible, but easy to believe things when it came to you. Somebody didn't do their own research, didn't do their homework. Lots of five of cups here for Virgo. What is the energy? Page of cups and death. Scorpio energy. I feel like something changed how someone saw you or how you view someone, Virgo. I feel like somebody was nice to you. I'm hearing like a friendly gesture. Somebody could have even like made a friendly gesture and you could have taken it the wrong way. Or you made a friendly gesture and somebody took it the wrong way, Virgo. Give me an energy for death. Why is death here for Virgo? What's the energy? The lovers. Yeah, somebody's decision yeah, was definitely the cause of whatever transpired. Like something changed. Somebody did go through a transformation. And for some of you, it wasn't for the good. Gemini energy on the lovers. Somebody could have listened to a friend, taken the wrong advice. Give me an energy for the page of cups. 
someone you felt had your best interest at heart or this person felt this way. Why is the Page of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Page of Cups here? The sun. Something deals with a pregnancy, a child, and a commitment. Leo energy on the sun. Somebody could have gotten into a commitment due to a pregnancy, due to a child. Give me an energy for the page of cups. Something could also um, have to do with paternity. Somebody's trying to find out who fathered a child. The two of wands. Somebody needed to make an enlightened decision. They really did. Somebody needed to be practical, go within, and wait. Something about being patient. Because whatever was going to be revealed, it was coming out anyway. It's like you can't rush things. You can't rush the truth. Everything has to play out in a certain order. In a sequence. But it's like somebody could have jumped to conclusions, made a choice, took a certain action without having all the information. And now that everything is out, the cat's out of the bag. Somebody regrets the action they took. Somebody could actually own a black cat. I'm hearing gray eyes and I'm also hearing green. Give me an energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Something deals with a Taurus. Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? The Eight of Swords. You know what? Somebody wanted you like stuck with a third party bound like in a contract. For some of you, it's this third party. Whoever this Queen of Wands energy is wanted you stuck with them in some type of contract. Like I said, whether it's marriage, something definitely deals with, um, I'm hearing like roommate, like a, a an agreement at least. So somebody wanted, I'm hearing living quarters. So somebody wanted you to be stuck with them when it came to your place of residence. Not being able to move, relocate. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. For some of you, this is a situation that does involve a roommate. Justice. You could have had to take someone to court or that's what you may have to do. Libra energy. Tell me more. Something was binding. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups. Yeah. So something either deals like with a third party, somebody that you were romantically involved with, or a friend. Something could also have to do with a friend group. I just feel like somebody went half on something, went in on something with a group of people, and that was not the best decision. And now they're stuck in a contract with this person or with this group, and they're trying to get out of it, but it's hard. And they may have to go to court or something legally may have to be done. The contract, I'm hearing null and void, so the contract may have to be voided altogether. Give me an energy for justice. Why is justice here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is justice here for Virgo? What's the energy? Page of Pentacles and the Hermit. But you already know what to do. If you don't know what to do, Virgo, like there's going to be a piece of information given to you. Whether it's spiritually in the 3D, but it's going to aid you in... What avenue to make is going to help you make like a wise decision, a sound decision, one that's really going to be beneficial for you, for yourself. Virgo, your energy on the hermit. Give me a message for the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the three of cups here for Virgo? Strength. Leo energy. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? It's almost like somebody just wanted to hold on to you, temperance. So I feel like this person or these people have been using some type of control tactics to hold on to you, to block you from moving forward. Like they want you stuck in this contract with them. And like I said, something is legal. 
some type of obligation. They want you stuck there. They don't want you to be able to move forward. Somebody don't want to release you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody does not want to release you. Sagittarius energy on temperance. Give me an energy for temperance. Why is temperance here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is temperance here for Virgo? What's the energy? Ten of Swords. Because you know what? These people have been betraying you for a long... <sighs> Thank you, Spirit. These people... Or this person has been betraying you for a long time. They've been sabotaging you intentionally, Virgo. That's the seven of cups in the reverse. Like whatever decision you made, had you known the full truth, you would have chosen something else, someone else, a new path, a new direction. Had you known everything and now everything is about to come out. Something's about to be revealed to you, but they've been blocking you. They've been sabotaging you for a while now, or at least trying to, and that's what's going to come out. They've been trying to keep you stuck or they have kept you stuck. Give me an energy for the eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here? Like somebody has been betraying you. And don't care. The star. Somebody could be trying to paint you out as being like crazy. Like something with like your mental state. Mental instability. Aquarius energy. I'm hearing like funds, refunds. Some For some of you, something has to do with money. I'm hearing estate. Somebody could be trying to um get some type of guardianship over you, Virgo. Over your money, your finances. That's not going to resonate for everyone. And I'm hearing like an elderly patient. If this is not you, this could be an elderly member in your family. Or somebody that's disabled. I'm hearing like constitution about faith. Something has to do with somebody that um, was in the service. Give me an energy for the eight of swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo? The King of Pentacles. Yep, something has to do with money. Something that you're entitled to. That you are destined to receive. Something that deals with your level of your abundance. And somebody's been trying to keep this away from you. Somebody's also been trying to keep you stuck financially. They don't want you to be in the King of Pentacles chair. They don't want you to be this boss figure. They don't want you to be stable, to be confident. They don't want you to shine. They don't want you to operate in your purpose. Give me an energy for the star. Why is the star here for Virgo? What is the energy? Why is the star here for Virgo? What's the message? The queen of pentacles. And there's the union. There's the marriage. So for some of you, it's just been a group of people trying to sabotage your love life, your relationship, trying to keep you in this king of pentacles or queen of pentacles apart. I'm telling you, you and this person are meant to come together and get money. It is destined for you and this person to be very abundant. This is a lover's connection. For some of you, a soulmate. And I'm hearing dictatorship. Again, going back to the strength card, somebody's been trying to control this. Control this partnership, this union, block this from coming together. For some of you, even stopping you and this person from like trying to see each other. Like somebody's been doing the most. Something has to do with family. Trying to intervene as well. Why is transformation here for Virgo? But something's about to change. So in the end, you get what you deserve. You're going to be happy. You are going to be fulfilled. So you're going from the Five of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So you're coming out of the sunken place and you're going into a place of peace, happiness. And for some of you, it has to do with you just transforming the way you think, how you see things. Um, you really tapping into your energy, the hermit, making wiser decisions. Accepting people and situations for who they are. Distancing yourself. Getting out of whatever this mess is. This contract. Or getting away from this person. These people that are trying to have you in the Ten of Swords. Or had you in the Ten of Swords. 
Like there's a change that is going to take place that needs to take place in order for you to be fulfilled, in order for you to truly be happy and to get what you deserve for this partnership to come together. And even if it's not romantic, like you and this person are definitely meant to collaborate. It's still a soulmate connection. You are definitely meant to be abundant together. Give me an energy for surrender. Somebody's definitely very resourceful as well. Why surrender here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is surrender here? For some of you too, um, somebody may need to get out of a marriage contract. Wow, this came out like this in the Taurus reading. Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. You know what? These are people that was trying to prevent themselves from being in lack. From going through some type of hardship. But whatever they've been trying to hold on to or, or block you from receiving, they're going to have to surrender. It's time to give it up. And they have to face karma. It's just simple. Sagittarius, heavy Sagittarius energy, heavy Leo energy, heavy Taurus energy, heavy Aquarius energy, and heavy Scorpio energy. Something I have to do with those signs. Give me a final message for Virgo. What's the energy? Give me a final message for Virgo. The Six of Swords, because you're being divinely guided. You're being divinely guided towards... I'm hearing your person. I know people don't like, you know, when that's said, but that's what I'm hearing. Your person is your person. Whether it's romantic, it's business related, it's platonic, it's, it's just a friendship. Either way, it's going to be one that brings a lot of fulfillment into your life. This is your soul tribe or a member of your soul tribe that you are connecting with. This is a soul mate of yours. And it's just going to fit. It's going to mesh perfectly. It's just going to gel. Because it's what's meant for you, Virgo. And whoever these immature people are, or immature person is, yeah, they're going to be suffering here. They're stressing out. There's a lot of conflict and drama in their life. For their deceitful ways. I feel like, too, this is you and the Nine of Swords, realizing that you've been lied to, manipulated for a while. Somebody could be a compulsive liar. But these are people that just do things, say things to get what they want. They really don't care about you, how things work out for you, as long as they're good. Give me an energy for the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here for Virgo? What is the energy? Why is the Six of Swords here for Virgo? What is the message? Ten, I'm done. You're getting your 10. You're getting your 10. For some of you too, with this Nine of Cups of Transformation, it's going to start with self. You pouring into yourself, loving on yourself, and then you'll be ready for that additional cup. You'll be ready to give to somebody else fully. So for some of you, you may just want to take time to work on you. And believe me, like whatever's meant to be, it's going to be. It's going to happen in divine timing, Virgo. So you have nothing to worry about. You will be happy after everything is said and done. So this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself. Real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. There was a few different messages, so, you know, apply whatever fits when it comes to your life, you know, your situation, and stay blessed.